I demonstrated in yesterday's video that ScotRail do not warn people trying to buy first class tickets on their website or their app that they don't have first class wheelchair spaces. A friend subsequently commented that this might just be on their mobile website, which is a good point. So today I will show you it on the desktop website. I'm entering the same train journey details as yesterday. Whilst I'm doing this, notice that there's no warning comes up that says that they don't have first class wheelchair spaces. Here's the train selection page. So I will go down and select first class and there's nothing in there that says no first class wheelchair spaces, nothing there either on the train journey details and there wasn't anywhere else. That comment, you do not have first class on all legs of the journey, means that there isn't first class at all, um, not that there's just no first class wheelchair space. It's unable to specify a wheelchair there, uh, it's not a bike or a bus either, so clearly you know, there's still not any warning there. On delivery page I also can't see any warning click continue there's my shopping with the first class ticket specified um, first class is not available on all portions of your journey yet we know and there's details of the first class ticket but still no sign saying that there's no first class wheelchair space and we're at the final stage now where we're being offered the opportunity to pay and still no warning that there's no wheelchair space Here's that letter from the Office Railroad to ScotRail again. Following information received by ORR during the review of your DPBP, they like the terminology, we also asked you to clarify how you ensure that passengers using a wheelchair are not able to buy a first class ticket, which in practical terms they may not be able to make use of. And one of the responses was, you have also told us that you will make the restriction clear when customers are going through the ticket booking process on your website. Well, you know, it's not just the mobile website. They just don't do that. They also say in this document that there are various places on their website and on the National Rail website where you can find this information out. So I thought I would demonstrate this. In the middle of page 22 and a block of obscure text in the middle of an obscure policy document. On each of three pages on the ScotRail website, two clicks in and a scroll down in the middle of a large block of small print text, unhighlighted. On the National Rail Inquiries website, all bets are off because it's in the cellar with the light broken at the bottom of a locked filing cabinet stuck in a disused lavatory with a sign on the door saying, beware of the leopard. Only joking, it's actually on a sub-page called Train Formations and Onboard Facilities, where it's indexed by unit type and by line. A friend made a comment, does the Equality Act require disabled people to become experts in whatever products or services they want to use, to make up for each company's inadequacy? Also, do they expect wheelchair users to read through all sections of every company's accessibility pages before trying to book or buy anything? Well, you know, good point, and they don't expect non-disabled people to do so. I think this is discriminatory, and I think ScotRail, you need to sort yourselves out.